League of Legends recently announced a new character named Briar, and while there is a lot of positive reception to this character, there's also a lot of outrage around this character, particularly on Twitter, slash X, and also various articles around the internet. We're going to go over all that in this segment, so let's take it from the top. From the official League of Legends account, in a tweet from just about one hour ago, they post a picture, muted words, and you got four variations of feet, essentially. <laughs> yes, there's context to this. You see, they just released this trailer for Briar. I'll play some of it, and then there's still more context to give you after. Phew! I'm glad you know the way out. Big friend! On your guard! <gasps> Escape, buddy! <laughs> Four! Move! Her voice kind of reminds me of Haruko's a little bit, which is pretty cool because Haruko is awesome. Anyways, like I said, there's still some more context to go over. I present you Dexerto, and a headline they have, uh, New League Champ Briar Causes Community Uproar Amid Fake Foot Cover-Up. Long story short, this official art of Briar was released or leaked, and it became extremely controversial because she's showing a portion of her feet, as you can see right there. For example, Dexerto cites this tweet, which reads, Everything about her is awesome, but this is exactly why I don't want teenage anything in this game. And including a screenshot of some comments here that I'm not going to read, but there you go if you want to take a look at those. DOP then adding, Well, this blew up, and here I was wondering why my post was mass reported. Looks like the maggots don't like being called out. What happened to she is not real, and it's just a cartoon? And posting an image of another tweet where this person said, and no, I don't care if her lore says she's a 1,000 year old. If it looks like a child, talks like a child, and acts like a child, it's a child. Personally for me, guys, when I see her trailer, she seems like a very capable woman. I don't know how this person views this as a child so much, but let me know what you think in the comments. And so back to Dexerdo and the fake foot cover-up thing they're talking about. Essentially on Reddit, this uh, edited version was posted where someone put like boots on her, and then someone on Twitter thought it was real or something, and... Uh, yeah, it was just an edited meme from Reddit. However, the outrage about this character and the whole feet thing, like, not the cover-up, you know, just like, the art itself, would continue over on Twitter. With one user, for example here, Event Horizon, saying that Briar's not even a teenager, but actually a kid, a pre-adolescent, and comparing Briar to another lead character named Annie. Well, we can actually get more insight onto Briar from this champion insight over on LeagueLegends.com. A particular paragraph I want to scroll to, where they say, Overall, Briar was a balancing act to create. The team wanted to build Briar around a loss of control, but they still needed to preserve a sense of autonomy. They knew she should be a champion with flaws, but not a victim. Naive, but not childish. A woman, but not sexualized. Enthusiastic about life, but not annoying. Briar has all the confidence of a fresh college graduate with the same penchant for awkward humor. Plus, she can shred you to pieces. And she's beginning to discover her power and place in Runeterra. And also this area that reads, Imprisoned vampire who can turn blood to bladed weapons. She can't use her hands, so she chewed her ankles to create blood blades and uses her feet to fight. And one more paragraph. Because she's a complex character, Kindlejack adds, The way I wanted to visually communicate her personality is thus. Her face and expressions show a lot of her eagerness and her excitement, but her feet and stance communicate her hesitance and trepidation on entering the human world. And then her hands, restrained at the wrist, show her inner hunger. Finally, to my understanding, she basically keeps on the restraints because if she takes them off, she can enrage. So she's kind of using it to help her control herself, basically. And it sounds like being able to take them off and enrage is something that's going to be a part of her gameplay mechanics. Regardless, there's still a lot of outrage around this character. For example, this article on The Gamer that says, I just want to know what Riot was thinking with Briar's feet. And spoiler alert in advance, there's going to be a few parts of this article that I'm not comfortable reading out loud. Like some of the phrasing, let's just say is not my choice phrasing, and I'm not comfortable repeating it. But uh, yeah, let's see what this person had to say. So we start with that headline and this image and uh, this like magnifying glass effect. And it's kind of like, if it's really that bad, though, would you need to zoom in like that? It seems like some people might be making too big of a deal out of this. But let me know what you think in the comments, and let's read. Oh, and also, just to mention real quick, I'll give my opinion after we get through it. Key art for an upcoming League of Legends character called Briar leaked online last week. And I have some questions. Briar, first teased as the Hungry Jungler earlier this year, is a very young vampire girl, seemingly no more than 12 years old. With her wrists bound in a kind of torture device slash weapon, she's wrapped in skin-tight spiky leather, and also her bare feet are full on display. Just describing Briar grosses me out. Her design, and this key art in particular, assuming it's real, is the product of some very questionable decisions by Riot. Her apparent age, her gothic domesthetic, and the fact that there's a spotlight pointed at her bare... Yeah, this is the part that I'm not going to read that, uh, that follows there, skip into the next paragraph. You can see on screen, though, if you want to read it. I'm not reading into things that aren't there. There's three highlights in the key art. The brightest parts of the image where your eye is naturally drawn. One is at the top of her shoulders, giving her a nice hair light. No issue there. But the second one highlights her bare thigh. 
and the other is lighting up her feet. This image hits the intersection of at least three different perversions that I don't care to go into detail about, but you only have to be a little bit online to understand that some unsavory types, and once again, I'm not going to finish this sentence. Um, yeah, no, no thanks. Not going to read that out loud. No thank you. Continuing. And don't give me that vampire or ageless nonsense. I'm sure there's lore reasons that explain that Briar's actually of legal age, but she just looks like a child. I don't care. That's classic nuns tactics. When you call stuff like this out, people will try and tell you that you're projecting your own perversions and that there isn't actually anything wrong with it, but just look at the way it's been received. Or actually, don't. Take my word for it. The fan art, the memes, and the Reddit discourse has been heinous. Normally I don't make claims like this without providing sources, but I'm not going to make anyone else look at this garbage. This is a totally expected, completely predictable reaction to that kind of art and I just have to wonder what the heck Riot was thinking. However, the journalist who wrote this did include this image, so I guess they did find this meme offensive uh, from Free League Memes. It says Briar's champion icon is kinda sus, and you can see the icon right there, and that got over 17,000 likes over on Twitter slash X. And then the journalist continues talking about the art, saying, I could sort of see where the artist was coming from, the light on her feet. Emphasize the stakes going through both of her ankles, which is a cool detail. The highlight on her thigh almost draws your eye to the corpse she is sitting on, but I had to look at it several times before I noticed the body, which is the entire problem. Even assuming the best intentions, the piece is undermined by the emphasis on skin and her age. It's an uncomfortable image, and not in the way it's probably intended. It's also disappointing because Briar seems like a great jungler. She applies bleed to her enemies and recovers life from the damage dealt by it, and she can achieve a frenzy mode that increases her movement and attack speed so she can chase down enemies and chomp them. Her kit sounds fun to play and very thematic, but that's all overshadowed by the fact that she attracts creeps and weirdos. Riot is tuned in. The people there understand the League of Legends fan base and internet culture broadly. Surely many people saw this key art. Surely someone thought it was in bad taste. It doesn't matter what the intention was when the reaction to it was this predictably horrible. And I think Riot could have had a little more tact and foresight before depicting a young girl in such a lurid way. A couple things I find a bit odd about this situation now. Um, it seems like some of the people outraged about this, including the journalist, it seems like based off what they're saying about this, they're like sexualizing this character more than the actual foot fetish people are. Now that's a generalization. I'm not saying like all of them, like there has been some NSW comments about this character, but largely if you take a look at what people are saying, it's mostly memes. And the people outraged about this are like actually making some some comments, like I said, they're actually sexualizing this character a lot more than many of the comments are just memeing about it. So that's kind of odd. And the other thing odd about that article too, like the journalist says it looks like a 12 year old. I don't know how they got that out of that, but uh, yeah, okay. Now that we're through all that, we can return to this tweet from League of Legends. Uh, th that's basically all the stuff that led up to the making this tweet where they're muting all of these various feet words. In the comments, you got some people memeing here, League of Legends responding like, bro. Also like, leave me alone. Why are you scared? Why aren't you scared? Uh, I'm not going to read this one, but yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised League of Legends even respond to that one, but they did. And that's this segment. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this one. And once again, like summary of my opinion, I think based on the trailer and what they wrote about her, she seems like a woman, not a kid. And I think some of the people getting all outraged about this might be making too big of a deal about it, but you may agree or disagree. I'll see you in the comments. Let me know what you think there. And thanks for tuning in. Catch you there and in the next segment on the way.